Tony, thank you. Three Rhode Island school districts could be facing some challenges getting students to and from school next week. That's if First Student and one of its unions do not come up with an agreement before November 2nd. Union says they plan to strike after months of failed contract negotiations. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in studio with what both sides are saying tonight. Anita? Well, Mike, for the workers, it boils down to not enough hours and too little pay. First Student says they are now bringing in a federal mediator to help avoid a strike. A strike is on the books if a contract agreement between First Student and its workers at one local union isn't made between now and November 2nd. We're just looking for a fair wage and a fair pay each week. Nearly 300 First Student bus drivers, monitors and aides announced their plans Tuesday after they couldn't reach a deal on a new contract following months of negotiations. Many of our members are only guaranteed 20 hours a week and only make around $450. That is not enough to live. The union says thousands of students in public schools in Lincoln, West Warwick and Cranston will be impacted if the strike moves forward, as well as some private and specialty schools. A spokesperson for First Student said after nine bargaining meetings, the first meeting with the federal mediator is Wednesday. Adding in a statement, First Student has addressed all items noted from the union as a high priority in the latest proposal. We will continue to negotiate in good faith and are committed to working with the union in the coming days and hope to reach an agreement to avoid any work stoppage. Management's current proposal is a small increase in hours and a 0% wage increase for this year. We will do whatever it takes to get a fair agreement for all workers. Now, Lincoln, West Warwick and Cranston school districts tell me they are making contingency plans in the event the strike moves forward. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. First tonight, hundreds of school bus drivers and monitors could be on the picket line a week from tomorrow. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni tells us about the looming strike and which schools could be affected. Anita. Well, Shannon and Mike, Lincoln, Cranston and West Warwick school districts, plus some private and specialty schools could be impacted by the strike that is set to start on November 2nd if a contract deal between First Student and its workers isn't met. First Student bus drivers, monitors and aides want more hours and wages. And unless that happens, a strike is planned for November 2nd. To us, they're not being fair. They need to step up. One local union that makes up three bus yards in Rhode Island announced their plans Tuesday after they say a contract deal hasn't been struck following months of negotiations. Thousands of students could be affected, including some with special needs. We're looking for 30 hours a week. We deserve 30 hours a week. We work hard for what we do. And we're being fair about this. Union members say they are guaranteed 20 hours per week and make roughly $450 weekly before taxes. We want to get to a fair and reasonable contract that moves our members forward, treats them with respect and dignity, and provides safety to the people they're, they're transporting. A spokesperson for First Student said after nine bargaining meetings, the first meeting with the federal mediator is Wednesday. Adding in a statement, First Student has addressed all items noted from the union as a high priority in the latest proposal. We will continue to negotiate in good faith and are committed to working with the union in the coming days and hope to reach an agreement to avoid any work stoppage. Now, Lincoln, West Warwick and Cranston are working on contingency plans. If the strike moves forward, the impact could be less in Cranston since that district uses its own fleet that's used to shuttle most of their students. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.